All right. So with the relations between governors and Trump being contested, does this feel at all similar to the response from the Puerto Rican government when their governor was talking about a shortage of Trump holding out and similarly being held back? Does this in way think make it as though this may have impacted Trump's tactics with and way of dealing with governors and the COVID response? Uh, as far as aid being withheld, you know, Trump's got to listen to his advisors. He's going to get criticized whether he releases them or, or, you know, withholds them, you know, depending on his timeline and the overall big picture. Um, and the bottom line is, you know, he's got to learn or know when to make that call in the appropriate time. And it's a big decision to make. As far as things being withheld, it seems to be more at the, you know, the local government level, um, governors of each state that's not, you know, utilizing their resources, leaving things locked up in storage or shipping it back and forth. It seems to be the holdup on the supplies. I do see some similarities where governors are complaining about supplies being held back. Uh, I will say that the, uh, the supplies are either non-existent or they're being distributed, so I, I don't think there's much being held back in support. And I don't think Trump really changes anything for anybody. I think he's made it pretty clear that he does things his own way. Uh, but we do have a few governors that like to like to uh, fight with them over issues that don't need to be political, like our own Governor Inslee. I did, I was a little bit, I was informed about what happened with Puerto Rico and I did uh, I did hear about that and I did a little bit of my own reading on it to gain some information and taking that into this crisis that we're now experiencing, I would, I would agree that chances are governors have been less than truthful because when it comes down to it, they need to look out for the citizens of their state. So if they can, I'm sure that, not all of them, but I'm sure that some of them, if they could, they would watch the numbers and that they would try and get as much aid and relief as they could. I've heard, um, I've heard that there's a little bit of a controversy or a little bit of misunderstanding with New York and New Jersey about the amount of masks and hospital bed and respirators that they're all uh, dealing with right now. So I would believe that it is a uh, we do need to be a little bit more critical of that and demand a little bit more transparency from them. And I would imagine that it would affect President Trump's uh, his reaction towards the governors and it has probably influenced his recent um, recent calls for everyone to loosen the restrictions and head back to work. My, my opinion is that the, this governor just want to put Trump down. That's, that's what it is, you know, hiding some supplies and so. And when you see the facts in, in the news, but where, where is re, re, reporting from CNN or MSNBC? You don't see that. And so these guys, they don't do the re, reports so accurate as, as supposed to.